Boom, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Deli Dustalos. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. So, you guys are probably wondering what I've done now, right? What I've created for you guys is some content and the review of the new OBS Overland Vehicle Systems Mamba Rooftop Tent. So, what we're gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna give you guys a review, my experience with the rooftop tent, what I think about it, and if I would or wouldn't recommend it. Um, and really, the reason I'm doing so is because I've owned a couple different rooftop tents in the time that I've been overlanding or camping or whatever, right? So I've owned everything from a Smitty built rooftop tent to a Tapui rooftop tent to a Roof Nest rooftop tent, right? Oh, oh, and then a Rome rooftop tent. So I've owned two hard tops, or two soft, or excuse me, three soft tops and one, um, was it one hard top rooftop tent so I feel like I got a little bit of experience on where to compare them to and do they compare and whatnot to each other so that's really where my review is gonna come from where my insights and my pros and cons are coming from when it comes to it and is it worth the purchase is it worth the wait and whatnot so let me give you guys a overview of the profile of what it looks like on the Lexus and then we'll go ahead and get started with today's review in three two one let's go So there you guys go, as you guys can see. Um, it does seem a little bit bigger than the actual roof of the Lexus. Now the tent does come in weighing about 250 pounds, which is a big boy, plus me being a big boy. It's, it's a lot of weight up on the roof. So that is probably one of the downsides to it. Um, so we'll say that, but as you guys can see the profile of it, I mean, it does fit the uh, Lexus fairly well, I believe. Um, now, one thing I would say that maybe compared to other rooftop tents, maybe even when I had the roof nest. Um, I think they all sit about the same height. I don't really know what the height is, but they all seem about unreachable unless I'm standing on my um, sliders. Um, it is pretty tall again. Um, now, appearance-wise, I do love it. It's all black on the outside. You know, someone at work says it looks like a black mattress. I, I guess I can see that. Um, it is pretty big, right? It stands out. Um, now, with it, I mean, there is a couple different clamshell rooftop tents um, out there outside of uh, the OVS. I mean, you can get like the CVT, what is it, Area, um, area BFE, uh, who else makes uh, the clamshell ones? Um, I think 023 just, or 230 just rolled one out not too long ago, early this year. Um, there's a couple different ones all out there, right? Um, and you can always get one off Alibaba for you and the homies. Um, so why I went with OBS versus everyone, everything else? Um, a couple things, right? Um, one, I think price-wise was really the first uh, starting point, right? It was fairly inexpensive compared to the rooftop tents out there that do open uh, that are the clamshell ones. Um, is it cheap? No. Would I recommend to purchase it if it's outside of your budget? Not. Do you need it? No. Um, but it is fairly cheaper compared to the other ones out there. Um, but I think as far as the quality that I've had with OBS and its other products, um, I haven't really had any issues ever, actually. So that was actually one of the things also. Um, and second of all, um, customer service, um, really easy to get in touch with as far as online, through like social media and through email. Uh, so I had a couple questions before I ordered it um, in regards to it and whatnot, and they got back in touch with me pretty, uh, I'd say, um, pretty fast and it's pretty consistent uh, interaction back and forth so there was a no shooting of an email and then went back a couple days um, even on social media through Instagram and whatnot so I do you know appreciate that I mean customer service is a big thing especially when the amount of money you pay for these things uh, 
you know? So I think that is a big part of it. Um, now, so I will say that, right? Um, like I said, I mean, it is huge, 250 pounds. It is a big boy. Uh, the homies did have to help me put this up there. Um, so anyways, probably the easiest, one of the, let me say this, one of the big reasons why I did choose a clamshell after all the rooftop tents I did have. So I'll say I had the rooftop tent, I had the, um, the Smitty built, and then had a Tapui. And those were soft covers. And as you, anyone that does have a soft cover, it is a kind of a pain to have to take the soft cover off, take put it off the roof and whatnot. So then we went with Roof Nest, uh, which, which was a hard shell. Um, that was simply a very simple process. You just unhooked it from the sides, unlatched it, pushed it up, and the tent would deploy and you just unmount the frame or the bottom floor like anyone else and or any other tent and it would, you know, pop up a tent. Um, unfortunately, had a lot of bad, um, had a lot of quality issues with the rooftop, with the roof nest, um, and terrible customer service. So, you know, one thing led to another, and no longer got that tent. Um, and then we went back to a soft top tent, which was a Rome tent. Um, by no means do I have any problems with Rome, but I thought because of the cost associated to it, going from a roof nest to a Rome, quality was definitely so much better. Customer service with Rome was so much better, but. I remembered why I did not like soft tops. And it was just, I got the regular one versus the XL, which was a little too small for myself, my lady and the dogs. And it was just, you know, just, it was, it was too small. So what we did is I decided to go to a clamshell, right? And that was just cause I've always wanted a clamshell. But anyways, that is kind of the story behind why we went with the um, OBS. But anyways, let me show you guys the tent a little bit, kind of break it down for you guys. And then We'll go ahead and get it deployed and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. But anyways, dude, it is like 108 degrees out here today. We're in the shade. It's a little bit closer to the afternoon. Oh man, it's like, look at that water bottle out here. Anyways, let me show you guys around the tent. Boom, so as you guys can see, it does have a one channel uh, extruded bar on the bottom of it, which does allow for accessories and whatnot. So ooh, let me fix that real quick. Boom, so as you guys can see, it does have the bottom extrusion. It is a one channel piece, which I think a lot of them are pretty similar on the market. Now I know CVT, you can get a two channel bottom for accessories. Now mine, I do have the crossbars mounted to it, which does have the action tracks and a 100 watt Renology solar panel to it, but pretty simple, you know. Three big sturdy hinges on the front, boom. There we go, got the mounts for the shade or the ring guard, the handle to push it open and pretty much on this side, same thing at the latch and we got the ladder hooks there. So there we go, boom. So as you guys can see, that is what the outside of the ladder looks like. Now, uh, I'm gonna say this for another video, but hang tight because we are going to attempt to mount the OVS shower curtain, Thing, whatever you call it the OVS shower system on the outside on the bottom rail um, I do have some things put in place so watch out that's gonna actually be in the next video on how we mount that to this so if that's something that anyone is, is interested in we're gonna attempt to do that on this bad boy but anyways let's go ahead and get this bad boy popped open and I'll show you guys kind of what I have to do to do it so so what I'll do is I'm gonna unlatch this side and that side first and then we'll throw it open and show you guys how easy it is to open up simple to go ahead and deploy it uh, just two latches and just popping that bad boy open so let me go ahead and bring y'all's on inside and show you guys what it looks like but first let's go ahead and get the ladder deployed so here's the ladder it comes in this whoa this cool little green back the 
so I'm green bag. So anyways, it's just a regular telescopic ladder, just like any other rooftop tent really that you're gonna, that you end up purchasing on the market. Just a regular, uh, special. But let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. Now, oh, here we go. Now, I do have it currently on the passenger side. Um, now, I think the good thing about a tent like this, it does allow you to mount it driver's side, passenger side, rear side, wherever it is that you have, however you have it set up really. So you know, if you have it on a pickup, it might be beneficial to be on the back side. If you have it on this side, like this, I have it on the passenger side, but I think I'm gonna move it to the driver's side just because the tailgate opens this way. So in case I need to come down and I don't know, maybe not, we'll just leave it where it's at. I don't know, anyways, here we go. Just like any telescopic ladder, you know, this one does have these little hooks. Boom, actually, let me do this, guys. Before we actually go up inside the rooftop tent, it does have these cool little awning poles that just come with it. It does have, they do have their own little bag and whatnot, but um, let's go ahead and pop the awning open real quick or whatever you want to call it. The run, rain fly, whatever. Anyways, let's pop it open. Apologize. Sorry about that. Probably wasn't the best of angles, but there we go. That's what it looks like open. Boom. Pretty fancy. Anyways, so that's the rain fly. That's what it looks like when it is open. Um, let me get back. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Whoa, there it is. Ah. Anyways, there we go. Much better angle. That's what it looks like when it's open. It's not a bad looking tent. Honestly, the profile looks pretty cool. I mean, that is like pretty BA if you ask me and then uh, I'm sure you guys what the front looks like and you know what you guys are probably gonna say it it's actually bothering me myself too my action tracks aren't like straight they're not like all the way so I'm gonna have to realign those but anyways boom there we go I don't think the sunroof is or not the sunroof but the uh, uh, solar panel but either way looks pretty cool though got the action tracks the solar panel up there but let's go ahead and now go inside the tent let's go see what it looks like and i'll kind of give you guys a, a couple things why i decided to go with it just because of all the extra stuff that it does come with um at least in my perspective it was definitely worth the purchase so let's go ahead and go on up there boom there we go yeah how you guys doing i see you guys made it up here before i did anyways it's kind of dark in here um this material um, I don't think they consider it blackout material by no means, but it is pretty dark. So I do, I do like that, especially depending on where you're camping at. If you're not underneath the shade of a tree or whatnot, then whatever. Let me try to fix the exposure though, because now it just looks mad crazy. So there we go. Anyways, so let me show you guys a little bit of in here on what, it, what we got. Uh, first thing first, got this. It's probably asking yourselves, what the hell is that? This right here is actually a pipe, a pipe, this expanding tube that is, uh, it's a collapsing tube that holds the rooftop tent open. So if you're in a super windy situation and whatnot, this would actually go in the corner and it would actually allow for it to prop it up, keep it open. So it doesn't try to close on you. 
which I think in situations with the right wind, the right weather, and if you have, like I do, have the solar panel and the recovery boards, or in my case, action tracks up there, it might actually collapse on you, uh, which to be sleeping after a long day's day of uh, overlanding, it probably will not be a great uh, thing to wake up to, or be woken up to, I should say, right? Because um, anybody, I don't know who could sleep through that, but anyways, here's the bag that I was talking about for the awning tents. Now, let me show you guys this real quick. Remember, I'll tell you guys about the extrusion bar, the bottom one. So it does have these cool little shoe bags, you know. Got sand in them right now, but they just got these cool little things. You probably can't tell, but because the camera can't f focus on it. There it is. There you go. That just, I think that's a piece of, it's almost like a clear tube. Almost looks like a hot glue gun. But anyways, tube. But it just slides right into that channel and allows you to hang your shoes. And it comes with two of them. So for you and your partners, or you and your partner, I guess I should say. I mean, if you have multiple people in here, it'd be kind of awkward. But let me give you guys an overview in here. So it does have this elastic cord here, um, just like a lot of the other rooftop tents that you might see. It just pulls it all together. It does have these storage bags up there to store your stuff and whatnot. So yeah, that's kind of what it all looks like in here. Anyways, there we go. So, here's what this kind of looks like in here. I said, it's not too bad, honestly. I appreciate you guys, if you guys are still in watching the review. But um, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm like six feet tall. So let me get here. I mean, still got some room here between me and the ceiling to stand up at its tallest point. So there you go. I'm not standing up actually, I'm on my knees, but you guys kind of get it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. And as you guys can see, it's not quite bad. I mean, I mean for all of, for what it is and what you get for it, it's not a bad little tent, you know. And collapsing is pretty simple itself. Like I said, I love it for what it is. It's quite quite a great tent. Let me fix this here. Wish me luck. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. Um, but uh, anyways, here you guys go. That's just the tent and whatnot. I'm just hanging out in the backyard, my parents' house, because I don't know where else to go in this heat to give you guys this review. But I know it's pretty been a pretty long extended review, so I just want to kind of give you guys a little in-depth, more so like review from my perspective of it. Um, I know there's probably some reviews out there that are a lot shorter than mine, so if you guys have made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said it is a big purchase, though. Um, uh, I got it when it was at an introductory price. I think it's still at that price, like $299.99. They said it's like right under $3,000. It's like a dollar under $3,000. So that is one thing. But like I said, um, if I'm spending this amount of money on a rooftop tent, um, I would like to hear other people's perspectives. Um, and there wasn't very many when I bought this. So hopefully this helps anyone that's interested in buying this rooftop tent um, or trying to compare it to other clamshell rooftop tents because um, this is a one expensive purchase and I don't even really remember the return policy on this I don't even know if there is a return process on this but the last thing I would ever want is to make a purchase of this large amount and have buyers remorse right because um, I think companies tell you what they want you to hear because of the product um, but us as consumers are very limited to what is um, reviews and whatnot um, on a new product something of, of this sort right I think this just came out earlier this year um, so I hope this helps you guys um, you know hope for those that are interested in it, I hope it does help and those that have been looking at it I hope it helps um, and if you guys have any questions regarding it let me know and I'd be more than happy to you know what is give you guys a give answer your questions you know um, like I said I am happy with it it is for the amount of money that I paid for it for the quality of it um, and whatnot. I mean, it's been great. It's been held. It's been holding up fantastic. Um, I haven't had any issues, honestly, with it, um, aside of the gas mileage. But you know, that just comes with the uh, territory of putting a bunch of stuff on your car um, and to look cool and to go camping with. You know, 
Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Do you need a rooftop tent? No. Like any other thing, you know, a lot of it we don't actually really need to off-road and overland and stuff. You just do it, I guess, to be cool. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and just put it away. It's real simple. You guys will see it. I'll give you guys a drone video of it. And uh, it's quite a simple process to put away. There's really not much to it. Um, uh, other than that, usually I leave the, t the if I'm out overlanding or camping or off-roading, whatever, I'll leave the tent, the tent, I'll leave the ladder in here for, you know, to not have to carry one last thing in here. But normally if I'm out overlanding, we just leave the ladder inside the house in the garage. But if I am, I do leave the tent in here. And it actually shuts with, I'll say it does shut with the sleeping bag, a pillow, and the ladder. It shuts fine without a problem. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. I will say that. Because, um, you know, sometimes we do like to keep things in our rooftop tents. So, yeah. Anyways, let me put this away real quick and then I'll close out the video. So hang tight, let me jump down. Not really, let me go down the ladder because if I'm not that afraid of heights, but I'm not gonna jump. Anyways, let me hop off and I put the uh, tent away and I'll give you guys my closing statement, closing statement on this uh, rooftop tent. So hang tight real quick. So there you guys go. It does take a little bit to, I mean, it doesn't take too long to put down. Definitely not as long as a soft covered rooftop tent, but there's a little bit of process. Um, probably the only two things that I would say that kind of suck, in my opinion, regards putting the tent away in this case, is uh, sometimes when you do close it, unless you have someone else with you, the fabric kind of comes out to the sides a little bit once in a while, which kind of makes a little bit pain, pain in the rear. Because then you like, I don't know if you guys seen it or not, the drone caught it. But I had to go to the passenger side and kind of push the flat back in because I really couldn't reach around and get it. Um, and then two, the latches sometimes are a little tight. I think that might just be an adjustability issue. Yep. I might need to just adjust them um, so they're not so, so tight. But other than that, that's probably the only two things that I would say that kind of suck. Or the one thing is just putting it away. 
Um, other than that, I do really enjoy this tent. I haven't had any issues with it. Mounted on the printed roof rack, I think, really, it's just like any rooftop tent. As long as it has four main crossbars to mount, you know, um, that are running perpendicular to the mountain bars, it'll mount up fairly easy, you know, so. It is hot out here though, boy, even in the shade. I'm sweating, you guys probably can't tell, but I feel like I'm glistening, man, whew, boy, it's hot out here. Anyways, yeah, so there you guys go. Would I buy it again? If I had more money to buy another one, I probably would buy another one. Maybe not, I might, I might buy another tent for the trailer, like a soft cover. That's the only time I'd probably buy a soft cover is for the trailer just because that one's like as tall as I am, so there's really no like, hard work to have to throw the soft cover over and stuff you know so I probably would buy another soft cover if it was for the trailer but on the car it'd probably have to be something like this either a clamshell or a hard shell um, soft cover probably not for the car because it's lifted you know and it's got the roof rack lifted plus the roof rack plus this thing it, it is tall you know so trying to get up there it is it is a bit of a challenge so anyone that's like short It'd be a bit of a challenge, I would say. But um, other than that, that's pretty much my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I um, hope you guys got something from this video. If not, I apologize that it wasn't worth your time. I hope it was, though. I hope it's made your purchase a little bit easier um, when it comes to this tent. But anyways, I'm going inside. It's hot. <sighs> Plus, I'm hungry. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any more questions, put them in the comments. Let me know. Shoot me a message on Instagram, on YouTube, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. But stay tuned. On the next video, we're going to attempt to install the OBS shower system, curtain, whatever it's called. I'll figure it out by the time. I had it on the Forerunner. I had it on this, actually, before we put a rooftop tent. Now, did I have it on here? I did have it on here, um, but it was just for looks. I ain't going to lie to you because I put it on like when it was like super cold outside and I wasn't going to shower in the cold. But yes, I'll put it on here. I hope I hope I do. Hope the plan I have works out. So hang tight, and we'll figure this all out together. But in the meantime, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy it. Again, if you guys like today's review, hit the like button for me. If you don't, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, why you guys didn't like it. Um, other than that, I'm out. You know what to do. Follow your path. Peace.